Last year I was looking for the perfect glider to fly at the World Gliding Championships in club class. At my first test flight with an LS3, I made a huge 800 km flight and directly fell in love with this type of glider. Fortunately, my teammate Uwe Walik borrowed me one of his LS3s, this time one with winglets, to participate in the pre-world gliding championships in France. At the end, we won this competition with two LS3s. It was a pure joy today and the glider flies really good. It's so comfortable here in there. Yeah, let's see, perhaps uh, I will uh, get uh, LS3 soon. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm very excited to show you my new glider for the season 2021. As you can see, I have bought an LS3. LS3 is a glider with 15 meters of wingspan with flaps and I can fly it in the club class competitions. So let's have a quick walk around and later on I will show you what's in there. As you can see here at the nose, I don't have a nose hook, I only have a CG hook, but that's also fine to make an air toe. Uh, it needs a little bit of practice, but um, then it works perfectly and it saves some weight. We have a perfect paint job. Um, the glider was repainted in the year 2013 with PU paint, uh, so it's shining really white. Here you can see the air brakes getting out. The air brakes are important um, for the landing so that you can have a steeper angle of descent. Um, yeah, so. Let's and as you can see, they are really flat here. The surface is perfect. Um, it's very important also for the glide performance. And let's get out here to the end. There are no winglets installed up to now, but I definitely want to install winglets. Last year I was flying in LS3 with winglets and the behavior gets really, really better with winglets. So this will be a bigger step to um, cut off these wingtips here and install the new winglets. So this is one big flap and also the aileron at the same time. That's something which um, is not normal at um, more modern gliders. It's really something which is unique at the older gliders, but um, it works good and also the performance is really, really great with this glider. With the flap lever, you can adjust the flaps during flight. Um, there's the plus 10 degree position for landing, there's the zero degree position and the minus seven degree position for faster flying. And with this green lever, you can adjust the trim so that you don't have a constant force on the control stick. Then here at the fuselage you can see um, that the glider is still registered in uh, Czech Republic and the call sign here is Oscar Kilo. I'm not completely sure if I will um, fly with a Czech registration or if I will have a German registration, but with EASA it should be possible to fly the glider with a Czech registration. Then over there you can already see that the competition sign is send it down, it's all white now, so I can apply my own uh, competition sign. Most probably I will have Sierra Fox, uh, so it's a little bit different from Sierra Lima. Sierra Fox uh, stands for Stefly for my trademark, and yeah, so everything looks really, really good over there. Um, we have the elevator. And here is the big rudder. And compared to an LS4 and also LS3A, the vertical stabilizer is not as high as for the LS4 and it's also thinner. So um, I think that's a little bit better for the aerodynamics. 
but it makes the glider a little bit more unstable. Mm, yeah. I need to replace them. <laughs> I already have a mock-up. Um, it's made out of wood up to now, but um, it will be out of aluminium later on. And so let's have a look if this fits in here. As you can see here at the lower corners here, it's not centered because the middle of the panel was not in the middle of the fuselage. So I try to have everything as symmetric as possible in the glider. It's also important to have those um, gorges here in the middle and so on. But let's have a closer look at the instrument panel layout by itself. Um, here in the middle you can see the seven inch, the big screen open vario glide computer. Here on top I have the air traffic display um, where I can display the flam traffic from the power flam fusion and then below here we have the air control display with a 57 millimeter diameter and um, this device is a certified altimeter and I can control the transponder at the same time. So I only need one 57 millimeter cutout and not two or even three if I would combine it with the radio. I've already tested this air control display um, in our ASD29. Last year I was flying in a wave up to 6,600 meters. Also at these low temperatures it worked perfectly. For you, if you are currently in the process of um, upgrading your instrument panel, I have good news. You can get this air control display for a really, really good price. You can get 204 euros discount for the air control display, including the altimeter license. All you need to do is um, you need to use my coupon code, give me a new altimeter. I will include all important information in the description below, so please check this out. And this offer is only valid till the 21st of February. Now it's starting to snow and it's really, really cold outside. So um, we will derig the glider and then later on we will have a closer look at the panel layout. Um, yeah. <laughs>